Guys, it's Fonzie with DipYourCar.com, world famous peelable auto paints. Now one question that we've gotten for years is can you apply vinyl decals over Plasti Dip? Will they go on safely? Will they adhere to the Plasti Dip long term? Especially with all the people out there that use Plasti Dip for their project cars, this question comes up all the time. So today we're not only going to show you that yes you can, we're going to show you the right way to do it. Enjoy the video. So we want to demonstrate for you how to put vinyl decals correctly on your Plasti Dip car. So we're not going to just slap a vinyl decal on a test hood and call it a day. Of course we want to make a project out of it and have a little fun. Now the DYC EVO 10 was up and ready for its next color. So we went online and we found some inspiration. We found a white EVO rally car theme that we're not going to duplicate. We're only going to use it again as an inspiration. So anyone out there who wants to claim that we didn't get it just right, I don't care. This was really just about having fun and showing you guys a theme on the car so that the decals would make a little bit more sense. So what we did first is we put eight coats of white Plasti Dip spray on the entire Evo. We let that dry overnight and we came back in and we applied what you see here as the red triangles up front and then the red stripe down the side, the gray stripe down the side and the black stripe down the side to help with that rally car theme. Now, Right now, if you need any help on spraying your entire car with Plasti Dip, there's a link in the description box below, which is a full step-by-step -step tutorial on how to dip your car. If you need help on putting stripes on your Plasti Dip car like we did here, there's also a link in the description box, which gives you a full step-by-step -step tutorial on how to put stripes on your Plasti Dip car. So now we got that out of the way, it's time to put on the vinyl decals. So there's three major rules before you put the decals on your dipped car. First is you have to have enough Plasti Dip down on the car. If you don't have enough of a solid base down, when you go and put those decals on, especially if you're using like a backing paper and you remove it off, you're going to damage the dip. So first of all, minimum of seven or eight coats down on the car as a strong base. Second thing is never try to apply the decals until the dip has been dry for at least 24 hours. I know sometimes you guys want to try and rush your projects, but again, the dip has to be fully dry and cured before you put the decals on. So 24 hours minimum before you drop the decals. And number three, never apply vinyl decals to a Plasti Dip car that's been treated with dip coat. You want to apply the vinyl decals to your dipped car before you apply the, de the dip coat, or of course you're gonna have a big problem with those vinyl decals sticking. So let's take a look at all the different de decals that we have as an option for this theme and start putting it together. So I asked the graphics manager to get some decals printed up so we can stick them on the car and he gave us a whole array of different stuff. So I think this is plenty to give us that rally car theme look. So what we're going to do is take them and I'm going to work with Gabe, our shop manager, and we're going to try and place them around the car and create a theme that kind of flows pretty well. Then we're going to start jumping into the application. Okay, we're ready to put our first vinyl decal down. Now remember, we've got enough Plasti Dip base down, we don't have any dip coat on the car, and it's cured for at least 24 hours. So we're going to work on this 11 right here, and once you have it in the general area of where you want it to go, what I like to do is just create some corner guides here. So I'll take some tape and give myself a little right angle right here, so I know where that corner is going to go. Same thing on the other side. Now I know where I'm going to position my top two corners and then the rest of it will follow down. Now if you want to be precise, you can do this on all four corners, but again, this is really just for fun, so we're going to roll with it. So now I know where those two top corners are going to go. What I'm going to do is pull back the vinyl about halfway off the backing paper, kind of fold that down. I'm going to drop my first top corner my second top corner, and you really want to pay attention when you're doing this because a lot of times you only get one try at this. So make sure you take your time. So what I'm going to do is take a little squeegee here and just lightly kind of press that on and guide it. You really want to make sure that you're not going to scratch your Plasti Dip while you're doing this. And then just kind of lay the vinyl down flat inch by inch as you go down. We're staying on top of the backing paper here so we don't have to worry about scratching the Plasti Dip. And then what I like to do is just use my hands to protect the dip and get the rest of it down. So we're going to remove our guides. I'm going to press nice and firm on the actual vinyl just to give it a little bit of a better grip. And then we're going to carefully 
remove the backing paper nice and slow. And if you do it at a nice sharp angle, pay attention as you're doing it, especially on some more of the complex decals, you're going to leave the vinyl graphic there and remove the backing paper away. There we go. And then just check all your edges, make sure they're flush. And that's on there. And it's going to be on there the entire time the dip is on there. It, it adheres really well. So what we're going to do is we got a whole bunch of decals to put on this car. So we're going to set the camera up and Gabe and I are going to go at it and get all the decals done. And then we'll be back. So we finished up the project and it actually looks awesome all put together. We got the vinyl graphics on the car and the best part is not only is the entire car coated and protected with the Plasti Dip, but the vinyl decals are only making contact with that dipped surface. So when it's time to remove the graphics, the dip will peel off and bring the vinyl decals with it. That way when you remove it, you don't have to worry about any of the vinyl decals leaving any residue behind on your OEM paint. Sometimes depending on what kind of vinyl you use for your decals, it can get a little bit tricky to remove them because of the glue involved, but it all removes nice and clean because of the dip. This is a perfect system for anybody who's running road rallies or doing any racing or project cars where you want to change the color of your car, protect your car, and use vinyl decals. The system works perfect. The decals and the dip work great together. Now, if you want to dip your car or your wheels, just click right here. It'll take you to dipyourcar.com. There's a whole bunch of cool stuff there for you to check out. But if you have any questions at all about the dipping process, email us, customerservice at dipyourcar.com. Call in during business hours or chat with us directly on the website. Speak to somebody. We'll do everything we can to get you the answers to any questions that you have. I'm going to take the car outside right now so you can get a better look. It's Fonzie. I'll see you on the next video. So we want to demonstrate for you how to properly apply vinyl decals to your plastic dip car. We're not just going to take one vinyl decal and slap it on a test hood and call it a day.